thank you for watching. You're taking a look at uh, a couple of my antennas here for a radio station that's used for sending data packets back and forth. Uh, this is for my Winlink system, which is an email over radio. So anyways, that's my VHF antenna. And since it's slightly accessible, I'm going to put a warning sign up there, which you can see right there. It's just basically don't want somebody accidentally touching it if I'm transmitting. Um, I'm capable of transmitting 50 watts on that, so that would give somebody a nice burn. And then up here is an HF antenna. This is a 20 meter dipole, basically 14 megahertz. Um, that too is high powered, 100 watts. I don't think anybody's going to be able to touch the wire though because it's pretty high up, but uh, this one I'm a little bit more worried about. So it's uh, my laptop, which is connected to my radio. The radio is right here. I got uh, an HF TNC, which is something called SignalLink. It's a uh, virtual TNC that's connected to a very specialized sound card. And then over here is my VHF TNC that uh, allows me to send packets. So we're looking at the email program. It's not that exciting. It's just got a simple email. It's a, a phone number at, uh, that I'm going to send it to. I'm going to send an email through an SMS gateway and send a text. So basically the email will change into a text message. The reason for that is if you're in a situation where you need to get a hold of somebody right away, um, chances are they're probably not reading their email very often, but they probably are going to get an SMS message. So this is the phone where the message will be received. So, not so big a deal. I'm just going to go ahead and post that to my outbox. And I'm going to transmit on the uh, HF frequencies. So that'll be on 14.1025 megahertz. Now I've already selected this channel, um, but I'll show you in the propagation window it's showing up as about 65 percent path reliability the other ones higher than that are either out of sight of my bands where I don't have an antenna for that particular band or they're too close to me so I'll over bounce them I'll heat up the sky and bounce way far too far away from them so I'm going to select this one here it's 1665 kilometers away from my station uh, that's in Coronado California I'm up in the northwest of the United States near Seattle so I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit so we can hear the station. I want to make sure that station is clear before I transmit. And there's somebody transmitting outside of where I want to be transmitting. So I don't want to step on them. So the station's clear. I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, connection process. So right now I'm sending out a call and I got a call back. So I can hear the other station basically saying, okay, this is who I am, and you know, what do you have? And it tells me, you know, I'm ready to receive messages. And then I'll send out a message automatically. Here comes the message right there. It tells me how many minutes I have remaining on there. It has my call sign and their call sign. Okay, so I'm done. The transmission sent. I'm sending my call uh, sign, and then the other station. There it goes. The other station's call sign. So this station is 42 kilometers away. It's 144.950 megahertz. So I'm going to change over to packet and I'm going to receive that signal back. So I've already selected my station up here in my selection of channels. I'm going to go ahead and start. So it's much faster. You can hear it already.
grid's down. No power right now. I need to send out an email. Uh, I'm using a kerosene lantern. I don't really need that, but uh, I could use a battery if I needed to. Uh, with a battery operated light. So, anyways, here's my station. All I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit an email on the 40 meter band. That's 7 megahertz. Right now, somebody's transmitting on that band, so I want to avoid transmitting right now. Uh, short message right here. I'm going to send off. Let's see right here. It's basically uh, not too much information. So I'm going to start with low wattage here. Let's see what we get. I'm using Winmore with a uh, Signal Link TNC, and they're basically a sound card. Yep, I've got some uh, activity here. Five watts, which is pretty pretty good. So this station is let's see, this is K7 DAV, which is uh, about a thousand kilometers away from me. So we're gonna transmit this email and then shut down. I think I'm gonna bump up my power slightly because I'm getting repeats here. So I'll just go in here, turn that up slightly, so here's the wattage. Put up to about 10 watts. Lower my ALC down slightly. That's probably good. Yeah. So you can hear it. That's the signal. Now that's a nice signal right there. Unfortunately, I'm going to receive an email, and I wasn't expecting that.